Little reference has been made thus far in this work to the essential error of covenant theology. It may be mentioned at this point only as it bears on human responsibility before God. The theological terms covenant of works and covenant of grace do not occur in the sacred text. If they are to be sustained, it must be wholly apart from biblical authority. What is known as covenant theology builds its structure on these two covenants and is, at least, a recognition, though inadequate, of the truth that the Creator has responsibility toward His Creator. Covenant theology has Cocaius 1603-1669 as its chief exponent. He taught that before the fall, as much as after it, the relation between God and man was a covenant. The first was a covenant of works, for this was substituted after the fall, the covenant of grace, to fulfill which the coming of Jesus Christ was necessary. Upon this human invention of two covenants, Reformed theology has largely been constructed. It sees the empirical truth that God can forgive sinners only by that freedom which is secured by the sacrifice of His Son, anticipated in the old order and realized in the new. But that theology utterly fails to discern the purposes for the ages the varying relationships to God of the Jews, the Gentiles, and the Church, with the distinctive, consistent human obligations which arise directly and unavoidably from the nature of each specific relationship to God.